guys, what's up? I'm Jared, and I'm going to be giving voice this course by Miguel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the following animation. To start with the project, let's right click and hit New Composition. We'll give it the name Logo Reveal. Then we'll choose the preset HDTV, 1080, 29.7 FPS, and the duration would be of 4 seconds and press OK. We'll right click on the timeline to create a new white solid shape with the name of the background. Hit OK and we'll lock it. Now we'll go to the project window, right click, import files and we'll look for the logo we're going to be using. Now I'm going to import it or add it to my timeline. OK, hit the S key to modify the scale and we're going to put it at 40%. As we've seen, the animation starts with the letter A. And I haven't separated the letters because with the effect we're going to use at the end, we'll see that this isn't necessary. Then what we'll do is create some masks. When the logos layer is selected, I can go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle kind of like this. But we'll change the mask from add to subtract so that we can't see it. And then I'll create a mask with the D key so that it disappears and we'll put it on subtract again. Now we're going to place this letter A right in the middle. We'll use the title guides as help and we're going to place it approximately around here with the pan behind tool i'm going to place an anchorage point here in the leaf that's on this top part and this is going to help when making an animation to make a base or regarding the position of this point we're going to see it further on very good now we have this we'll take away the titles and we're going to make some line ellipses animations. We're going to, to the ellipse tool and we'll double click. Here we're going to see that we've created a line because it obviously has no fill. But we're going to choose with the dropper tool this green color here. And we're going to press OK. Now in the ellipse, we can see that we have the content and here is the line. The size is at 920 by 1080. If I press the Alt key and double click on this chain, we'll see how it goes to the same size in width and height. So we're going to change the size and we'll put it at 280 pixels. And as the Restricted Proportions option is activated, it's automatically the same on both sides. Press Accept and we'll name it Ellipse01. And we can adjust this with the arrow keys on the keyboard. So we enclose the A. After this, we're going to add in an animation. Click. We'll look for trim paths. Here we're going to see the options start and end. Here we'll see that when we modify the percentages, what we're going to do is trim the path. I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And in the end, we'll do the same thing, but backwards. Press Ctrl Z again. Then we're going to do the following. From frame 05, I'm going to create a keyframe on start. And I'm going to go to 110. And so that's in frame 15, second 1. And we'll place here another keyframe but I'll put it at 100%. Then what's happening here is that we trimmed the line. We'll also modify the opposite one as well. So we'll do it from frame 10 and we'll put it in another keyframe on end. But in this case, we're going to place it at 0% and we're going to place this end keyframe in the same place. But here, we're going to do it at 100%. And we're going to 
see a start starts here and end at the same time starts to clip and gives us this effect. We're going to see that the animation starts right here. The offset is there to modify the angle from where we want to start. We'll put it at minus 10 degrees. I'm going to select all of the frames, right click and look for the keyframes assistant and press on easy ease. And here, what we'll do is use the plugin called Ease and Wiz. It's really useful for these kinds of animations. So we could use it. If you want to use it, you would need to watch the tutorial called how to install and use the Ease and Wiz plugin. So what we'll do now, having the keyframe selected, in easing, we'll place expo and in type in plus out. And we'll apply it to all of the keyframes. Press apply. We'll see that it's gone to a red color. This means that, ha that it has an expression. Here we can see that it's from the ease and whiz plugin. So here, what we'll do is as follows preview. And we'll see that our nice little animation is there. With a speed, uh, thanks to this plugin. We're going to press Ctrl D, having the ellipse one layer held to duplicate it. And now we have ellipse two. We're going to press the U key on both layers to see the keyframes. We're going to place it right on frame 10. This first keyframe is ellipse 02. We'll do it in this following way. Just drag it and there it is. Now we'll move on and press Control Shift plus D to cut and delete. We'll do the same thing with ellipse 01. Control Shift D and delete. Now in ellipse 2, what we'll do is a size modification. Here in content, We'll change the size of the ellipse to 340 pixels. And we'll see this animation. We'll make the line of this ellipse go to another side. So we'll press the reverse button on this line. We'll click and we're going to see the following. Really good. To modify the trim paths, the offset at 90 degrees and there we have it. There's all our animation ready, because all we did was duplicate Ellipse 01 and we've saved a ton of time. Press the U key and here we'll see the frames. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, press the U key and I'll move it along to frame 15. This ellipse is going to be bigger, so we'll change the line to 810 pixels. And in trim paths, the offset is going to be at 80 degrees. And there we have it. Preview. And this is what we have. We'll continue on with ellipse 04. Select the ellipse 03 and press the U key. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate and press the U key again. Here we just have to move it along three frames. But we're going to do it in the following way. We'll go to 15 plus 3, so 18. We'll move on, selecting the first frame and drag them to 18. The last ones will be in the same place. This ellipse will have a red colored line. And we're going to reduce the size here. So place it at 230 pixels. We'll take it off the reverse option. And in trim paths, we'll modify the offset to 220 degrees. Let's preview. And this is what we would have. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to press U twice to close all the keyframes. And I'm going to start with the animation. Here, what we'll do is as follows. We'll go into the scale. 
we'll press the S key and we're going to look for um, position. So I'll press Shift and P and rotation. So I'll press Shift and R. Then we'll see position, scale and rotation. We'll go straight to the second 01 of frame 10 and we'll place a keyframe in the scale and we'll go to second 2 of frame 5 and place another keyframe. At the start, we're going to add in 0%. Select both keyframes and we'll right click Assistant, activate Easy Ease. We'll see the following animation. Use the Ease and Whiz plugin again. Here, what we'll do is select the frames and we'll go to Easing, Expo, just in Type, Out, and apply it to all of the keyframes. Hit OK. You have to select them well, and there it is. When you get the color red, it's because it's been applied. And when we preview it, it's going to give us that speed effect. Modify the rotation in the exact same place. We're going to create a keyframe, but here it will be in second two, frame two. In the first one, we'll put in 120 degrees and we'll go on to the next one. It looks a little strange. We'll select the keyframes and we'll apply Easy Ease again with the Assistant Preview. We have to apply the plugin Ease and Whiz again. We'll put in Easing back. So it gives like a bounce back effect. Then type out and we'll press apply. We'll see that we've already applied because it's red. Preview and we'll see the following animation. Very good. We can see that this plugin is really useful and remember that you have to see the tutorial to know how to install it. Let's move on with our animation. We're going to click on the position but this would be in second two. I'm going to click on the keyframe here and we're going to move it to the left. In second two, frame 15. Here we have to hit another keyframe and we'll modify it, uh, taking away 170 degrees. And here we can see that we're on the X axis and we have 772 pixels in total. Let's preview it. This is what happens. Right click Easy Ease again. We want to use the Ease and Whiz plugin for now. Continue on from where the letter A is. We're going to make it have a rotation effect. So we'll go to second two in frame 12 and we'll add in another keyframe and here we'll give it a plus nine degrees. We'll see the effect. And there it is. And in second two, frame 27, we'll, we'll, we can see it here. We'll place it now at zero degrees. In the position, we'll go to the second number three and we're going to hit the keyframe and we'll add in 400 pixels. So we can add it up to 772 plus 400 would be 1,172 pixels. What's this for? It's so that the text of the logo is in the middle part. We can see it even with these masks, we're going to get an idea of how to leave it in the middle. So, when we preview, we have this animation. We'll make some effects with the graphic position editor. We'll manually look in the speed editor. And here in this point, we're going to move the anchor to the right, pressing control so it doesn't move up or down. We're going to place both of them in the middle so that it gives us that speed in the middle part. 
then we can modify it however we want after previewing. Okay, so now to finish this up, we have to make uh, the whole logo appear. We'll do this with the effect called CC Twister. We can look, at, look for it here in the window effect and presets, or we could also just click on the layer and in effects tab transition and we'll find CC Twister. We'll see that when we modify the values in completion, we can see all of the logo. This happens because in the source of the backside, we've chosen this logo. And obviously, we'll be able to see this, but without the mass. Let's suppose that you have an isotope that you've animated, but when you make this animation, you want another logo to appear, or maybe another image that you have. Then you have to put it in its timeline, drag it, and place it. But here, unclick the eye so that we can't see it. And then this here in the background can be chosen to modify the completion values. So the image of the logo that you want would appear. As I've chosen the same one, we'll see the same logo. All right, so in second two, frame 10, we're going to uh, place a keyframe at 0%, press the U key, and here we can observe the frame. And we'll go to second three, frame 15. And we'll place it at 100% so that we can create a keyframe automatically. Select both to hit easy ease in the assistant. Let's preview. Very good. If you want, in position, you can also lower the speed a little in this way. And when we preview it, we'll see the following. Here we're going to add in another line that's animated, but it's not going to be an ellipse. It's going to be another line. And we're going to position it more or less in second two frame 15 so that we have that guide. We'll do the following. With the pen tool, we're going to click in the more or less like this. Let's hit Control Z. You can modify it. And we'll copy the same frames. Press the U key on one of these ellipses. Select them. And with Control C, we can copy. And we're going to go to second one, frame 25. Press Control V. Press the U key, and we'll see there the keyframes. But we're going to move the last frames to second two, frame 20. And let's preview it. We'll see this really nice effect. And there we have our animation finished. Lastly, we'll do the following. We're going to activate motion blur here. We're going to change this layer's name to path. Activate the motion blur box. And in the logo, activate it as well. This is going to give us an effect of like speed. But in this case, nothing happened because we have to activate the motion blur in general. So we're going to activate it in all the layers we can. And we'll see that in the position, obviously, it gives us that motion blur effect. When we preview it, we're going to see the following. Now, if we want it to stand out a little, and we can see that also the line we've activated, that motion blur effect that you can see just in this part. All right, if we go to project and we right click on composition, and we can look in the options in the advanced part, we can increase the motion blur. For example, I'm going to put in 350 degrees. And here, we'll see what happened. Press OK. And when we preview and see how now we've modified and increased that blur 
a little more. Okay, I hope these techniques helped you guys a lot in your videos and you can use them in your animations and in your logos or whatever. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>